there's something unspeakably obscene in having Germany take the position that you can't get debt forgiveness in the Greek. Uh, why? In 1953, for those of you who don't know the story, the Germans were reeling under the accumulated debts they had that left over from World War I as well as World War II. And they went to the major creditor countries at that time, Britain, France, and the United States, creditors of Germany at that time, and they said, we cannot rebuild a post-World War II Germany to be the ally you want us to be against the Soviet Union unless you free us from the burden of this enormous debt. From February to November, if my memory, August of 1953, there were endless conferences by the representatives of all these governments, Germany, France, Britain, the United States, in London. And at the end, it's called the London Conference, at the end, they reached the London Agreement. And the London Agreement was the following. One half of Germany's debt was erased, and the other half was rescheduled from the short number of years it was owed to a 30-year loan effectively making the annual payments Germany had to make nothing, or close to nothing, and way, 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 way less. The country that got that doesn't want to give it to the Greeks. It's, it's breathtaking. It, 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 it's wonderful. It, it, the only thing better than that is, to, is the fact that the vast majority of people around the world do not know what I just told you because it hasn't been made a central part of the, of the story uh, that we're trying to, to summarize here.